Hey, what's up, Tiny Gamers? We are live streaming right now at RGB Gaming Stand. Rage Expo 2023 is cracking. And right now, I'm with Tiani Sugar Mabunda from Sundowns Esports. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much uh, for having me here. Yeah. yeah, it's an honor to meet you. I mean, right here is the man who's in charge of the biggest soccer team in Africa right now. Number one. It's like people focusing on the Springboks, but they're forgetting that, you know, Sundowns is also doing us proud. So how does it feel like, you know, to be working for such a, you know, such a big team in I Africa? Know, it can only be God's grace for, for one to be associated with, uh, with, uh, with a team like Mamri Sundowns. And uh, for me to be a part of it is really something great. Like you say, we're trying our best to make sure that we are one of the most recognized uh, organizations in the continent. And we're doing so well for, of late that uh, the boys have been really showing up and made sure that the, the brand Mamluri Sundowns is out there and everybody is uh, talking about Mamluri Sundowns for the good reasons and that's what we were uh, actually trying to, to achieve and uh, we're happy that things are going according to plan. Because let's just be specific, um, what's your role at Mamluri Sundowns? I'm actually a club ambassador uh, as well as a spokesperson of the club and uh, uh, it's really uh, unheard of uh, from being in the field of play to becoming an ambassador the way we never had such but uh, an opportunity was presented to me and uh, I'm happy that uh, I was given this opportunity to represent, to carry the badge of Mamadou Sundowns wherever I go. You said you were in the field of play, were you an actual player there? Recently I was, uh, I'm a former player of Mamadou Sundowns and uh, I recently retired like two years ago and uh, now uh, working behind the scenes and more in administrative in the uh, management side. So uh, in, in with regards to, to, to the work, uh, it's just for us to be able to bring closer the players, the management and the supporters to build one solid uh, family within okay. the club. So last time I had FIFA, oh, no, last time I had a FIFA game was FIFA 20. Right? And then I saw my PS4 in 2020, uh, 2021. But then the only South African teams on, on FIFA were those other two teams. I can't mention them, right? right? And then Sundowns joined in 2022. You're the third South African team or is it the third African team to join uh, the FIFA EA Sports franchise? You can say, uh, like you say, uh, in the past we only had two, 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 two clubs uh, who were in FIFA from Africa, uh, but now Mamadou Sundowns is part of it. Uh, we are happy to be recognized for the work. Uh, it only takes a lot of work and great uh, success that can cause you to be uh, ranked amongst the, the best footballing clubs in the whole world. So that's what we as Mamadou Sundowns were always looking forward to. And uh, we're happy with the recognition. Uh, with uh, with all the, the sponsors that are taking part in uh, enhancing the, the brand Mamluri Sundowns. Uh, we're working with Red Bull, we're working with uh, 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 Herbal Life, we're working with Rock Nation. So that's where you see the, the, the importance of uh, the great work that we're doing, that uh, even global brands begin to want to associate themselves with Mamluri Sundowns. And that's where we fight, want to see ourselves. Okay, I'll get to the Rock Nation thing, right? Um, so, okay, Sundowns Esports, right? So do you have a, a separate category in Sundowns just for, for the esports players? And if so, like who, who are your star players for Sundowns esports? Definitely, uh, we're looking forward also to, to, to embarking on a, on a global stage in terms of EA uh, esports. And uh, we make sure that uh, opportunities are presented to people. Uh, last year, this is, uh, we're having our second edition of the, of the competition this year. Our, our reigning champion is actually in the final right now. He's actually speak, playing as we speak. And he's, he's, he's having a good run right now. Uh, that is Kalen. He's the reigning champion of uh, our games in the Mamadou Sundowns uh, FIFA 23 uh, tournament. So uh, it's really good to, to have players like him. Uh, we've had uh, Aku, who, who was also there last year. Mm -hmm. And this year we've got a young, uh, young savage, Tabo Young Savage, yeah, who's also noise, doing yeah, very well. Noise, yeah, 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 so yeah. that's the final. You've got Kalen and you've got Tabo in the final. Uh, what else would you want to ask for if you're... Yeah. Uh, Esports basically sent you an email. Like, yo, guys, we want you, on, we want you come in. So when you saw that email, like, how was the reaction for, from the team? Like, yo, FIFA wants us. Yeah, definitely, you know, uh, it, it shows that the great work that has been done uh, behind the scenes is recognized. And you always need to acknowledge uh, the chairman, uh, Mr. Klopi Mutsepe, who's working tirelessly trying to make sure that the, the club is recognized globally. And uh, these are the, just the fruits of, of the work, hard work that has been put in, not only with him, uh, the management, the supporters are going all out. That sends a strong message globally to say Mamluk Sundowns is not just a, a local brand, mm -hmm. but it's also a, glo it's a global uh, uh, organization that is recognized.
because we had our preseason in, in Netherlands and we were actually able to beat a lot of uh, Premier League teams in Netherlands. That shows the quality oh, that yeah. Mamadou Sakho. Like, bro, you just need a sponsor and, 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 and stuff like that. So in terms of like sponsoring esports tournaments, especially in Pretoria, because that's where you're both from and that's where Mamadou Sundance comes from. So, but have you have you done any esports tournaments in Pretoria, like ex except for Rage Expo, like any specific Sundown sponsored esports tournaments with prize money in Pretoria or anywhere else? Yes, we've done it in, in the main lane uh, actually last year. Uh, we, we've done it uh, this year uh, because of the, uh, the the work schedule. We were not able to to slot it in because there was so much. But last year we had it, which led us to to have a team to come and participate at Rage. That's where we begin to find our players that uh, participate. So uh, a lot of information is available on social media. It's just that uh, uh, people just need to go there and oh, find it and check yeah, okay. and follow the page, yeah. follow the website, follow. There's a lot of activities taking place at Mamlu Sundowns yeah. and uh, there's a lot of information that can benefit. We've also got interns as well. Yeah. We've got interns who are actually now being absorbed into being uh, full-time employees of Mamlu Sundowns based on them following the page, following the activities, and uh, people benefit from that. So I'll, I'll check oh, okay. the page. So is it Sundowns football team or Sundowns esports, or is it all under one Sundowns FC page? It's all under Mamlu Sundowns. Uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a brand, as an organization, oh, okay, and there are different cool. categories that within that that uh, you find uh, you've, uh, you've got your scholarship, you've got your internships, you've got your your, your supporters, you've got your, your esports, you've got all these oh, okay. activities that okay. are, are yeah. within the same umbrella of Mamadou Sundowns, okay. and uh, we look forward to, to uh, actually opening it up for, okay. for more things. So, okay, now I want to talk about and another one, DJ Kelly. Yo, bro, I was on Twitter one day. Scrolling down, and then I see, is that DJ Khalid holding a Rock Nation, Mami Lodis and Downs jersey? I'm like, nah. And then I checked, I'm like, what? How did you find DJ Khalid to, to hold a Sundowns jersey? What, what's going on there? Can you explain what's there? Yeah, you know, like I mentioned earlier, that uh, we we're, were in partnership with Rock Nation, uh -huh. and uh, they're also doing a lot of our marketing uh, in the States. Uh, making sure wow. that globally the uh, Mamluk Sundowns brand is out there. Uh, this is the vision and the desire of our chairman, uh, Mr. Kopi Mutsipe, to want to see the brand Mamluk Sundowns throughout the whole globe that people should know. And uh, uh, Rock Nation has been really doing very, very, very well on our side. Uh, it's not just a, uh, it's a very big partnership that we have with them. Uh, it, it causes us to be recognized globally. Like you say, having the likes of your DJ Khalid, uh, every time always wishing us well, every time uh, releasing a, a, a post or a comment or well wishes for Mamluk Sundance. It sends a lot of uh, regards throughout the globe that people, uh, these are international figures that are actually part of Mamluk Sundance and that's something really great. But then I know in America there's the, the, the MSL, like Major League or MLS, Major League Soccer. So are there any... Uh, maybe uh, is, are you planning on playing in America like some exhibition match whether it's physical or esports anything like that in the pipeline? Ah, no, 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 not, not, not in that sense, uh, but we, we look to, to create a lot of relationships as well. Uh, we've got uh, one of our latest players that will be sent to the MLS, uh, which is Keisha Smailula who's playing for Toronto. Uh, it shows that Mamluk Sundance is recognized. If, if, if teams in the MLS are also looking for our players, it sends a strong message that Mamluk Sundance is doing something great. And there are a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, inquiries about the club Mamluk Sundance because it's now become a global brand, yeah, which is what we want to the globe. Yeah, after all, what I didn't mention is that uh, last year you had a lot of prize money for, for your Sundance Head Rage. I think how much was it, 200,000 Rand or what? Yes, uh, this year is actually on 200,000. Last year it was 100,000. This wow. year it's on 200,000. Uh, and the winner takes uh, home 100,000. So wow. we're actually in the final now. So whoever wins uh, uh, takes home in a very good season of uh, Christmas festives. Uh, you've got a lot of money to, to take home. So I, I sometimes wish I was still, uh, uh, I was able to play uh, throughout. You the was 100,000 last year, 200,000 this year. Is it fair to assume you'll be 300,000 next year? You never know. Uh, perhaps uh, depending on the on the on the, on the response of of, 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 of of the of the people watching and the response of of the impact that we're having, we always try our best to make sure that we contribute to assistance in our communities to assist whoever. Uh, I never knew that uh, a person could earn hundred thousand in just playing uh, EA, EA games. So that, that sends a strong message to say uh, these are opportunities for careers as well. Not only football is played on the field of play but also uh, off field. You never know, perhaps next year it may be more. Yeah. My boy in tax from Mums, you know, I know you're watching this, bruh. You know which team to join, man. There's so many 
uh, gaming cafes in Pretoria. Shout out to the one at Sunnyside um, Gamers Palace. Uh, you know my boy, um, game uh, South V Gaming, Knox. You know, I know you guys have been doing FIFA tournaments for so long, and you guys so Sundowns guys. You should you should work to join the Sundowns. They're scouting, they're looking. So just hit up their page, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Where can people find you on social media? Yeah, we're found on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, uh, YouTube. We're also there, and uh, uh, we've got also our own uh, Mamlu Sundowns TV. Uh, that everything is also uh, put out there. So uh, we've got a lot of uh, social media platforms, and everybody can actually join and watch and follow whatever is happening at the club and be up to date. So my boys, Bafana Pitori, guys, you know, guys, this is this is the team esports team to play for. Yeah, there's those other teams. But we're from Pretoria, so we need to support our home brand, guys. Uh, so, okay, well, how, how can you scout? Because there's a whole bunch of dudes at Sterland. There's a whole bunch of dudes at Paul Kruger there. There's a whole bunch of people playing FIFA day in and day out, and they're just playing it for fun. But I don't think they know that Sundowns is actually putting in so much money. So, how do they get picked up? Must they send clips of their gaming, or do, how do they get noticed? How do they join? I believe uh, as soon as, uh, as as soon as people begin to follow the page, they get yeah. most insight, yeah. and platforms are created, and uh, they begin to interact with all those who are already there, and they'll be able to get them. Like you say, people are just playing for fun, but there are opportunities that are being presented, and people don't know about. So, it. if Swanee Gaming had to do a league, a weekly league, like well, with kids from Pretoria, you know, would 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 that be a good place for you to like scout potential talents? Like I say. Uh, <laughs> People should not follow Mamlu. Mamlu yeah. Sundance can't follow you. Yeah. You need to follow because yeah. you're the one that needs Mamlu Sundance there. Yeah. Yeah. So people need to try that. Just go out there, find out more about Mamlu Sundance. It's not like Mamlu Sundance is, is, is not available. Mamlu yeah. Sundance is there. But the challenge is people want us to come to where they are. They don't want to come to where we are. Another question, right? And you FIFA players, you, you, you made me angry when you did this. When I did the, the La Juma Stars tournament at Hard Rock Cafe in Mainland, uh, you know, it was 50 bucks entrance. And I'll never forget or oh, overheard somebody say, Ah, Joe, I'm not going to play the 50 rand, PlayStation. You know, they don't want to pay spectator fees, right? And apparently, that's not just an esports thing. I don't know if it's true or not, but I mean, for your, for your matches, physical matches, it, it's free entrance at, at the stadiums. Nobody pays like, uh, uh, to, to enter. Like, they, people just come in for free if you're part of the Sundown Supporters Club. So are you also having trouble with getting spectators to watch your, your real life Not matches? at all. Uh, we just uh, always, uh, people actually do pay. Uh, people do pay what for... You How much do they charge entrance at, like, at, at Loftus to enter for spectators? I think tickets go for uh, 40 rand, 50 ah, rand. Bro. So people do come. People do come ah. and uh, there are specific games whereby you find that uh, uh, the club wants uh, more people to come and then they invite more people than the people enter for free. And that also is part of it. But uh, people do pay, and uh, it's, it's really advisable that people pay yeah, uh, and yeah. assist uh, because uh, all these things. Uh, it costs money. Because, yeah. I mean, as well as um, season tickets as well. Is, is that a common thing in, in PSL soccer? Because I heard uh, people complain like this: the season ticket format isn't really for, uh, popular in PSL. Like, is, is that true? Uh, I, I wouldn't really know because uh, we as Mamlu Sundowns we just launched our supporters cards which allows people to have uh, those season tickets and uh, we're looking forward to bringing that into the system and uh, it's really it's really going well because people are really responding very well. There is a, there's really positive stuff that's take place, taking place in the football industry right now in South Africa and uh, we really need to acknowledge the supporters who do come, who make that effort to come to the stadiums, who pay the tickets, who yeah. buy, who go and buy the tickets and, and, buy and come and support, yeah. buy the merch and make yeah. sure that they feel a part of the game. That's where now people fall in love with the game and are able to see the opportunities that are being presented. And then we take So it. you guys see, same thing with esports. Like I want to do tournaments every month. I want to give away prize money. But if y'all and spectators aren't supporting, like I'm just bleeding money. So follow what Sundowns fans are doing, right? Buy tickets. Right. I can do tournaments every month, but y'all, you gotta support. You're going to Blue Room, you're going to all these places, like Aviala getting wasted. And stuff and not supporting people doing initiatives for esports. So y'all guys, stop being hard-headed guys. Support esports. So we can actually build a FIFA league in Pretoria and people from other cities can come, you know, spectators are there, players are there, shoutcasters are there, the sponsors are there, we're creating an ecosystem, it's creating employment, you know, everybody's getting empowered. But sugar man, thanks for this interview, it's very enlightening. I really appreciate man. So anything you want to announce, any next projects for 2024, the oh, biggest project?
that people can look forward to? No, people should just come to like tomorrow we're playing a game in Loftus. Just come and support the boys. Make sure that uh, we, we as Mamluk Sanders people in Pretoria support one another. We're playing CAF Champions League. Our quest to dominate the continent continues. So we also call people to come to the stadium. Let's support the boys. Tickets are actually at 20 Rand for tomorrow's game. So we, we, it's, 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 it's something that it, it's, it makes it easier for people to come. Okay. So, thank you so much for the interview, man. Yeah, you, man. Much appreciated, bro. So, so thanks. I'll wait, man. So, right. So, what's Kopala Kopala Fenasi Oh, context.